Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are doing a followers pick my makeup video. So I've put all the stuff on my story for what you can vote. I've got all my products laid out here. So we're just going to go through and see what the votes are. Okay, so the first one is primer. So let's see who won. So there was L'Oreal Aloe Water, Bo Bodyography Primer, Revolution Blur Stick and Revolution Glass Skin. So the winner of that is L'Oreal Aloe Water with 87%. So that had 87, Bodyography had 13%, Blur Stick had 42 and Glass Skin had 58. Then Foundation. There is Fenty Pro Filter, Revolution Foundation, NARS Natural Radiant, and Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay. So the winner of that is, well, Fen oh, Fenty's came in at 60%, Revolution's 40, NARS is 67, and Maybelline's 33. So NARS is the winner of that. And then concealer, we've got Revolution Concealer Infinite, Blank Canvas by P. Louise, Maybelline Fit Me and Barry M Concealer. So the winner of that is Maybelline with 72%, Barry M got 28%, Revolution got 54% and Blank Canvas got 46 So what I'm going to do is go and do my base, my primer, other water, the NARS Radiant, foundation and the fit me concealer and then i'll come back okay so first we're doing the primer which is l'oreal hydrogenous aloe water so this is for dry and sensitive skin i've got a few different uh, ones for different skin types but i'm using this one because i feel since this isolation started i've got like breakouts and that's dry it's just all dry i don't know why i don't know if i'm quite run down or whatever but so this is really good for dry skin. So if you've got dry skin yourself or you just want something to put in your skin routine, I'd really highly recommend this. So refreshing. The aloe vera on it is probably the best for your skin. So I would really recommend getting it. We're going to go in with NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm going to use the shade Deville because I'm white. Can't wait till the sunbeds turn back on. So give that a good shake and I'm going to put it on my uh, palette here. I'm just going to use a flat concealer brush just to put it all on my skin. I love this foundation. It's probably my favourite. It's just so light as well. Doesn't feel too heavy on your skin. It's nice and buildable. It's just an all-round winner. I've been using beauty blenders in my last videos, but I'm just going to use a brush today just for quickness. Your compassion. So I'm just going to go in with the Fit Me concealer, using a little dense brush just to blend all that out. So it's just this wee petite dense brush. I'm just going to tap it all in. Okay, so we're going back on to the Instagram votes. And for powder, there is Jeffrey Translucent, there's RCMA No Colour, Fenty Butter Powder, and MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. So the winner. So Jeffrey's got 70%. Mm -hmm. RCMA's got 29, Fenty's got 66, and Max got 34. So Jeffrey's the winner. So I'll do that then now. So we're getting the Jeffrey Star Translucent Powder. This smells amazing. It's like candy floss. Okay, so I'm just tipping a wee bit out. And just patting that in the most oily area. The only thing I find about this is it falls like, does that. 
if it floats about. Fenty's probably my favourite because it doesn't do that, like, go everywhere. It just goes straight on and it's nice and like, it makes your skin feel dead silky when it's going on. This is good too, like, it makes it look dead airbrushed. So I'm just doing this to get rid of my smile lines. Well. Just look right up to the ceiling and pat it in. Powder is done. Looking flawless. Okay, so next is. Yeah, so I've just. Okay, so next bronzer. So we have Matt Give Me Sun, Too Faced Chocolate. Lottie London and Doll Beauty Dark. Okay, so Matt Give Me Sun has 82 votes. Too Faced Chocolate has 66 votes. Lottie London has 17 and Doll Beauty has 110. What's the winner? Wow. 110 votes. I'm actually so surprised with the amount of votes that people are like contributing. I didn't expect that at all. So that cheers my body back. Okay, so. So I'm just patting this, it's actually like none left. I can't even go get any more, I don't know what I'm going to do. I wonder if you can order online. If anyone knows, let me know. So I'm just patting this in where my cheekbones are and across the forehead. I'm just going to use this little brush just to contour my nose. We're just going on to blusher. So there was Anastasia Blush Trio. There's L'Oreal's Life's a Peach. Milani Baked Blush and Mac Peaches. So Mac Peaches has 71 votes. Milani has 69. Anastasia has 66. And L'Oreal Life's a Peach has 47. So Milani is the winner. Oh no. No, sorry. Mac Peaches is the winner. Okay. This is my favourite. So thanks. Put that on. I love Mac Peaches. So next is highlighter. So we've got Doll Beauty Highlight Duo. We've got HP Cosmetics Highlighter. We've got Anastasia Glow Kit. And we have Be Perfect Sub-Zero. Be Perfect Sub-Zero has 33 votes. Anastasia has 83. HP Cosmetics has 12. And Doll Beauty has a whopping 125 votes. So we know where that's going. I'm just going to spray my face with Hyaluronic Fix just so that highlight sticks. And that sets my base as well. Wow, well, everyone loves the doll beauty. Okay. So I'm just using my usual go to, which is Peaches PC28 for this. I love that spray on my skin, it just makes it glow without even any highlighter. Love it, babe. Yeah, this brush is stained and it's washed, but there's nothing coming off of it, so that's just my own brushes for you. <laughs> How amazing that is. So I'm just putting a wee bit on my forehead. I wouldn't usually do this, but because for photos and stuff, it makes it look really, really nice. I'm just using my a bronzer brush just to blend it all in. So there's no any harsh lines. Okay, so next we have 
eyebrows. Okay. So we had a picture and I'll show you the picture. So it's just me holding a brow mascara and a brow pomade. So I've wrote Olivia Bell pomade or brow gel only. <laughs> the pomade has 92 votes and the brow gel has 65. So it's pomade, but I always just put brow mascara through my eyebrows and that's me. So let's do this. Love you guys. Not kidding. And honestly, I used to use Anastasia. I do love Anastasia, but I just can't justify paying nearly 18, 19 pound for a brow pomade when these are just like a dupe of it and they're creamier for longer. So I'm just starting underneath. I've not done this in ages, so don't judge me. <laughs> Actually, I don't really mind it. I just prefer an action kind of looks. It tends to take the attention away from your eyes. Kind of loving that. I'm just going to put a wee bit of brow gel through it just to take out any powder and things. And also just to drag the product through evenly. Moving on to... Well, the next slide. The next slide was um, a vote for lashes or no lashes. So there's 160 votes for lashes and four votes for no lashes. So lashes it is. But I'm going to obviously do the eyes first and I'll stick lashes on. Next one is colourful eye look or browns. There's, oh, okay. <laughs> so right now they are equal. So I'm going to give it maybe five minutes and see who takes over. But that wasn't like that a while ago. <laughs> How is that? Fifth? Oh, it's went over. Okay, 86 for colourful eyes. So we're doing colourful. Next one is glitter or matte. So there's 99 votes for glitter and 65 votes for matte. Not structured or a cut crease. 73 votes for not structured and 90 votes for Cut the crease. See that? So, so I've got lashes, cut crease, colourful. And what was the other one? Glitter for the palettes. Or be the secret center. Be perfect cosmetics carnival palette. Lick and Lash Palette, Beauty Bane Mitchell Palette. So, P. Louise has 49 votes, Beauty Bane has 56 votes, Lick and Lash has 33, and Be Perfect Carnival has 63. So is that, so Be Perfect's the winner of that. Okay, so we're gonna go and do the eyes. I'll do the shadow, and I'll do my top liner, and then put my lashes on. So let's get to it. Okay, so just make sure your brush is nice and sharp. But have some orange on my face like that. There's a monster. Just getting a good bit of product on that brush. Nice and sharp edge. So you're letting the edge of the brush do the work. So I'm just cutting under that eyebrow. Okay, so once you've done that, just slowly drag it down and just start patting it in. And just continue to pat till you've got that nice seamless blank canvas to paint. So I'm just going to use this little concealer brush just to blend out them edges. And see that's really nice and seamless compared to that side. So if you don't feel like it's reached that point yet, just take an extra wee bit and pat it in with a fluffy brush. 
That'll just give you that full coverage that you need for your shadows to pop. Be carbo. This is the chosen one. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Don't know what to do. I done purple kind of for my makeup challenge because it was iridescent. I done pinks and reds and the orange kind of the sunset kind of cut piece one. Carnival, eh, not Carnival Festival was it's kind of the same colour scheme. So I might do green. <laughs> Scary. Okay, we're gonna do green. I'm gonna focus on these four colours. One, two, three. And that just to blend out an edge because I think it'll be a nice mix. So first colour, using a little dense brush just to get right in. And I'm just patting that in first, just build it up. I'm feeling this might turn out nicer than I thought it was going to. At the same time, I shouldn't jinx it though. So this technique is reverse blending. So you're starting with your darkest shade, you make your way up and then come back down and the colours are really intense. So it's good for keeping blends nice and noticeable. Not losing that pigment as well. I know it looks weird, but you need to trust the process. So, moving on from that brush, we're just taking. You're still trying to keep the small brushes because that's how it'll, you'll get a better turnout. So we're just going to use. So the second darkest color, which is called the height. So this is the more emerald green kind of shade. Then we'll go in with the neon and then the light blue one. Innocent people, where did the spirits go? Was there anything I could have done? That is what it means to be human, sister. So I'm just kind of sticking to small little circles and just patting that product in. Because really for the way up the way you want to pat them in and then on the way down you want to start kind of merging little small, small circles. Next one called Ecstasy, and that's just it up again. The shattered trust of giving Caroline the night of her dreams. I'm actually going to change that to a smaller brush because I don't want it to go about too much. Okay, so now I'm taking that little petite brush and I'm using that for my last colour. So we're using Wyro. Okay, so that's my shadows the way up. As you can see, there's some harsh lines, but that's because I've just patted all the product in. So now I'm going to work my way back down and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have done the bottom shadow. I've took away any excess for my cut crease and we're going on to the next bit. So, next is... Okay, so we've done foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blusher, highlight, eyebrows, eyes. So it was glitter is a winner, cut crease was a winner, and what was the palette was the carnival that won. Then coloured eyes. So pigment or pigment with glitter. So 44, no, 42 votes for pigment only, 98 votes for uh, pigment with glitter. So we're doing pigment with a wee bit of glitter on top. Okay, so this is the bit where I realise what pigment we're going to use. So I've got 
P. Louise Icy, P. Louise Sugar Daddy, P. Louise, sorry, Peaches, Gatsby, Rattlesnake, Cinderella, Current Mood and Pool Party. So, P. Louise Icy has 41 votes, Sugar Daddy has 32, so P. Louise is the winner so far. Oh, Peaches Gatsby has 74 votes, Peaches Pool Party has 35, so Peaches Gatsby's taking the lead. Peaches Cinderella has 35 votes and Peaches Rattlesnake has 69. Oh, it's so close. Um, Peaches Mermaids has 59 and Current Mood has 47. So Gatsby's the winner, but Rattlesnake's really close and Rattlesnake would have been so nice with us too. Damn. Okay. So I uh, put an extra wee one in saying black waterline or a coloured waterline. So black has won. Black waterline has 90 votes. Coloured waterline has 62. So, and then lastly, lips. Oh, nude lips, 115 votes. Coloured lips, 36 votes. I kind of was hoping people would vote for a coloured because I wanted to try it out. Okay then, so pigment's gone, Gatsby it is. So I'm going to use uh, P. Louise blank canvas to cut my crease. Okay, so I'm using Peach's PC40, just this is the most sharpest brush I've got for cutting the crease and it's just amazing. Very nice. Okay, so I'm just, let do again, let the brush take its turn and do the work. It's so hard to cut a crease, I've not done it in ages. I prefer doing it other people. Okay, so I'm just going to blend in the edges and then put the green coming in. So I'm just going to use that brush. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to use the bigger flat concealer brush and just add glitter glue. And this is when I'll put down my pigment. I'm using the Revolution Glitter Glue. Looks unusual. My eyes are like pretty stuck. Unless just to open them up. This brush is good to use because it's obviously flat and then it takes a good bit of coverage. Hello. So pretty. So pretty. So I'm going to take this glitter and just put a wee bit over the top. Oh my god, stunning. Now that's glam. Okay, so NYX Final Liquid Liner. Okay, so um, black, we'll double check in case it's changed. But Okay, so the vote for, I think it was Waterline, let's see, yeah, so Black Waterline, 101 votes, Coloured is 73 votes, Nude Lips is a win as well, so we'll do Black Waterline. Using Peaches Hotline Liner. Okay, so 
I'm gonna go over that with a P. Louise Horner gloss just to lighten it a wee bit. Okay, so this is the finished look. Hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you so much if you participated in voting for this challenge. Um, if you want any more of these, let me know and we can get that sorted. Ignore my hair because I need to go to show. So if you have watched the full way, thank you so much for watching. Um, if there's anything that you'd like specifically to see on my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. please comment below and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>